Hello, this is Dustin with Homebender, and today I've got this super gross and moldy looking spot over the kitchen ceiling. Uh, I tried to recreate the leak. I know there's a bathroom over it, uh, but I wasn't able to do it. So we're going to cut it open, see what's going on. I'm going to show you how. Let's get to it. recreate a ceiling leak that's going on. We've got this gross spot here. I got the tub running upstairs, but it doesn't seem to be dripping. So I don't think it's the tub drain. All right, they thought it was the drain leaking, but that is not leaking. And it, everything looks tight here. Like she said, it was during the shower. So it's the overflow looks tight. And the top of the discussion here looks tight. <laughs> Let's check the floors and the corners. Okay, we got some funk there, but could it be, that looks pretty tight over there. All right, this ceiling needs to be cut out anyway. It's super moldy looking and gross. Got my keyhole saw and it's a little wet. Let's grab this with my bucket. Oh, this is a, obviously a previous repair. So we're gonna just cut a paint line here so it can quit peeling. There we go. And this one too. We're gonna have to cut some of this out so we can see what the deal is. So we've got some copper supply lines there. There is some kind of PVC drain pipe. Looks like it's coming from the shower. Where, can you see that? Yeah, right up there is the shower where it connects to the tub. And it doesn't seem to be dripping now. I cannot duplicate the leak. So now I'm gonna spray this to see if I can duplicate the leak. Go ahead and spray here to see if I can get it to leak down below and I'll know what the problem is. It's not leaking out of the drain and it's not leaking when I run the shower. I did recreate the drip. You can see it right there, but that's after I sprayed it on the wall. I don't think any of the plumbing is actually leaking, but it did create this bummer. So that's it, we just rocked that leak detection under a tub, ran the tub to see if the tub was leaking, then run the shower to see if the shower part is leaking, check the floor, inevitably it was spraying it on the back wall, uh, probably water bouncing off a of back was is creating the leak, so we're gonna pop a panel up here and check it out before we fix the ceiling. I went ahead and laid a nice fat bead of conch around the overflow and around the tub diverter. Now we're gonna give it a day or two, see if that stopped the leak. So for Homeender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.